So you want to start your online business the correct way, but you're overwhelmed with what the best option is and how to actually start. Maybe you wish someone would tell you exactly what they did when they started and what they would do in today's changing marketplace and online ecosystem. That's the goal of today's video. As a seven figure print on demand seller, sometimes I imagine what it would be like to start over and put myself in the shoes of a complete beginner in today's online business world. I'm still growing, obviously. However, over the past few years, I've learned some things that definitely work and some things that do not work anymore. And I don't want you to have to go through the same things. So I wanna share with you three different strategies that, could, that you could start with today and exactly how I would use these strategies if I were in your shoes in 2024 as a complete beginner. These are all strategies I personally followed in used to profit from so these are actually things that i've tried so i pulled the community and one of the main things you guys wanted to know was how to get started and you needed guidance on what to actually do as a beginner so let's get started there are a ton of online business models that you can pick from so it can be difficult to choose the right one they're all fighting for your attention but the first thing i want you to consider is risk if we boil everything down to what you should be focused on at the moment is risk and how much risk you can take on now for myself when i first got started i was 22 years old in college i didn't have i was broke i was eating ramen noodles so for me i couldn't take on a large amount of financial risk i couldn't open a business and, and open a business loan with a bank and, and go in and open something. I couldn't buy a $5,000 course. At, you know, those things just weren't an option for me. I was looking for low risk strategies. So that's exactly what I wanna talk about first are the low risk strategies. However, we will talk about high risk strategies as well. So if you're more interested in that, you can just skip ahead in the video. So I don't know about you, but when I first got started, a thousand bucks a month would have been life changing for me. And that was one of the first goals that I had. After that, it was a hundred dollars a day, but the low risk strategies can easily get you to these lower thresholds it's just going to require you to put in some time all right we all have time that we can trade to put into these things we might just have to stop watching a little bit less tv or video games or whatever it may be but for example signing up for the amazon merch program is completely free to do so completely risk-free you don't even add your credit card and anytime someone buys an apparel item from you a t-shirt a pillow a phone case you get a five dollar commission sometimes more sometimes less but reminder amazon is the largest marketplace at least in the united states and in many countries and your listing is going to live there indefinitely and make you passive income so this is the same sort of income that maybe uh, an artist would make you know if they created music and they posted their music somewhere and they got royalties passively for making that thing once and posting it out into the world you're earning royalties you're earning commissions and it all becomes passive you can create these passive income streams in your life and they're they're risk-free because you're not investing anything in these products products. Remember with the Amazon merch program, they have a factory and all you need to provide is the actual design. So you will create the design. And then anytime someone buys the product, Amazon's going to actually create the product, the physical product and ship it out on your behalf, usually within two days. This program's free to sign up for. There's zero risk. And while you may need to invest time in designing products, you don't need to engage in Facebook ads or costly Shopify subscriptions. And with 20 sales per day, you'd be at $100 in profit or $3,000 a month. That's not bad. The second part of this strategy is Etsy. So we're still on the same strategy, Amazon merch, and then add in Etsy, and we can use the same designs. So Etsy might not seem as popular, but it gets 462 million customers browsing on their site each month. And some people earn a full-time income just from Etsy. You can sell digital products or you can sell physical products, but there are a lot of customers buying from the Etsy marketplace it's very low cost to get started with etsy less than a hundred dollars total is really all that you need so it meets the low risk requirement for sure it costs 20 cents to actually create a listing and then that listing goes out to the etsy marketplace and could earn you so again we could use the same designs for etsy that we used for amazon merch if we're creating a t-shirt for amazon why not go ahead and sell that same t-shirt on Etsy. And if you want bonus points, go ahead and sign up for T Public. You can even follow my videos on how to use AI art tools and free AI art tools to make these designs. Then you can create these passive income streams for yourself. Very low risk. There's no need to actually make these products. Our print on demand suppliers are going to take care of the production, packaging, and shipping to our customer's door. For Amazon merch, that's obviously Amazon. But for Etsy, we'll need to sign up for a Printify account. Now, Printify 
is a premium free to use print on demand provider. You only pay when you actually get a sale from a customer. So someone on Etsy buys a tapestry from you or buys a shirt from you, then you're going to only get charged after that sale and after those funds are dispersed to you. So again, there's no risk with print on demand. You don't need to buy a bunch of things up front. You don't need to buy equipment to actually create the products. Now, remember that Printify actually connects to other marketplaces. So if you decide to sell on Amazon or you decide to sell on TikTok Shop or Shopify, you will have the option to actually duplicate those existing products in your Etsy store in your Printify catalog and move them over to these other marketplaces. So starting with Printify, you'll be able to grow as far as you need to grow, even in to something like a Shopify store. Now, the products that I would be focused on, I would focus on shower curtains, wall art, hooded blankets, and other high profit products that I would either generate designs with AI or create in Kittle. These are all tools that you can use to actually create designs. You don't need to hand draw them unless you're an artist and you want to hand draw them. You absolutely can, and they do usually sell a little bit better. Now, the magic happens with consistency. The main lever I would pull here would be running 10% sales on Etsy to boost my traffic and conversion rate, and then listing at least three daily listings, if not more. Now, you're going to get a temporary boost in traffic and sales every time you create a listing so you want to be taking advantage of that lever and making sure that if this is your strategy you understand what is going to actually accelerate your success with the strategy creating spending a bunch of time on the design is probably not going to lead to as much success as creating multiple listings launching lots of listings in different niches and trying out you know different designs and products to see what works best that's low risk strategy number one, selling print on demand apparel and gifts on Etsy and Amazon merch. Remember Amazon merch will list 62 products plus international markets. So you're actually creating dozens of products in multiple languages. Thank you, auto translation. I don't have to actually translate these. Okay, let's look at low risk strategy number two. With this, you don't even need to design a product because you'll be reviewing brand name products that already exist. And in many cases, you'll be getting them completely for free from the sellers, from Amazon or from TikTok. You won't need to actually pay for these things. And these programs are the Amazon Influencer Program and the TikTok Shop Affiliate Program. Now, you've probably heard about these things. They're incredible opportunities. They're fairly new programs. And now before you say, but Jacob, I don't want to dance on TikTok and show my face on Amazon. Don't worry. I've got you covered. You don't need to actually dance on TikTok or show your face in your videos or anything like that. Unless you want to, you can do unboxing videos where you just show yourself unboxing something. For the Amazon Influencer Program, you're going to review products around your house or maybe products that your friends and family have that are available on Amazon. They don't need to be purchased directly from Amazon. They could be purchased somewhere else as long as they're listed for sale on Amazon. These videos will appear on the product page and it could be as simple as unboxing your product for 30 seconds and talking about one of the features and benefits and if you would buy it again. TikTok shop, you will need to create some content for TikTok but the earning potential right now is really high. They are pushing out TikTok affiliate content to the point where you can create a post and it should reach a larger than normal audience. And anytime someone watches your video and purchases from you, you will be earning a commission. This was not an option for me, you know, when I first got started. But if I were a beginner and starting right now, this would be one area that I would probably be focused in because, again, it simplifies everything down to all that you need to do is create content. You can even request free samples to where you don't need to actually buy these products and that way you're you're literally investing nothing and you can even technically resell these free items locally on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay and you could make money by just reselling those items. There's nothing against terms of service with anything that I just laid out in this strategy and remember because you're reviewing products some of those products will be on Amazon and TikTok and you can use the same content and obviously um, you know double up on your affiliate commissions. Do not underestimate these programs. Even though you hear people making large claims about them, it's true. They are very powerful programs to be in at the moment. So again, low risk, high reward, and not complicated. It's a great choice for beginners and a strategy I would definitely be focused on if I were starting over. Now, finally, if you want to find a winning product quickly and potentially scale that product to multiple six figures, the riskiest method is Shopify and Facebook. 
Facebook ads. That's correct. Back to risk. It does have the most amount of risk with it. This is for anyone that feels like they want to get into print on demand fast or they've already had success. They're already making money in other areas of the print on demand business and they're wanting to multiply it. They feel like they're ready. They feel like they understand how to launch their Facebook ads and they're ready to launch the Facebook ads. Now, you don't need to be 100% confident because you're going to have to start with a $5 test ad to get started and just kind of learn the ropes. But I don't recommend this as a complete beginner because it can get very frustrating. You can end up losing money and it does have more risk behind it. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook ads for myself and my clients. But when I was starting, it was basically $5 ad sets. And that's where I want you to start as well. In theory, you could find your winning products, but nothing is guaranteed. So the minimum amount that you would need to start with would be $1,000 to test out your products to find your winning products. This can happen sooner if you're really good at marketing and, and picking the right products. But for most people just starting out, it's not an area of expertise. And that's why for 90% of people, when they ask, where do I start today? I point them towards the low risk business models first. It doesn't mean that they need to stay there forever, but I'd hate for them to get burnt out. I would hate for them to uh, run some Facebook ads and they don't work out very well. And then they feel the desire to never work on their online business again. Again, 90% of people listening to this will probably want to start with those low risk models. If you're confident that you're ready for Facebook or TikTok ads, go ahead and go into that. It's just a little bit riskier. And again, if you sign up for Printify and connect it to Etsy today, you'll eventually be ready to connect that Printify account to Shopify. So if you decide you wanted to run Facebook ads and paid advertising, TikTok, you can connect that Printify account to those uh, marketplaces later on. So go ahead and sign up for that. It will help you as you grow. Printify is the best print on demand partner you could ask for. Go ahead and start on Etsy. Go ahead and start on Amazon. And then once you've got income coming in from those strategies, go ahead and move over to your paid ads. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Don't rush the journey. Start with the one strategy that resonated the most with you in this video and work from there. Dedicate yourself for six months. And if it's not fruitful, it's okay to try a different strategy and to pivot later, especially if you're not enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, stick at it. Try and figure out the areas where you can improve and try and improve 1% every day. Don't try and wake up and instantly create your business in, in one day. It's just likely not to happen. Try and improve 1% daily. Try and get better at designing. Try and get better at marketing. And the best way to start is to take the information that you now have and act on it. Even if you feel like you still have lingering questions, which you can ask me below in the comments if you have some questions, you're going to uncover the answers as you go. So you might as well get started. You might as well reduce the amount of time, the time delay that you're, that you're procrastinating and, and creating for yourself. And that's likely going to lead to your success faster than anything else. It's just getting started today instead of delaying it, you know, days or weeks or months or years. Guys, that's all for today. Be sure to join the free Facebook group. Be sure to book a one-on-one -on -one call. If you need help, we can jump on Zoom and I can look at your ads. I can look at your strategy. We can talk about the best way forward for you and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hope you have a fantastic day. Create something awesome. Love you. See you in the next video.